everybody welcome back to my channel this is Lisa from Potsy Feather and I'm back today with another 12 by 12 scrapbook process video for you so today I am first of all I have washi tape over my niece's face because once again I am protecting her privacy and not putting her face on YouTube just everything else um, this is a birthday layout as you can see she, that was on her 14th birthday which is kind of crazy that she's 14 already and I'm using this paper pad this is just from I don't know I got this at action it's a birthday themed I ripped out a few papers and this mint paper I'm gonna back the cut or the hearts of the cut file that I'm using this is from Spiegel Mom Scripts it says be brave be strong be badass and I thought this was perfect for her because that's what I want her to be and so I just um backed the hearts with that minty paper now I think I don't quite remember and I think I have five other papers I think three of them are birthday themed and or like one is cupcakes two are birthday themed and then two like confetti looking ones and I'm using my ruler just to kind of rip strips I am ripping apart two strips of each paper I don't um you know I don't have a certain width I just rip and I use the ruler because you can kind of get a straight um, rip I guess I don't know and um, it just makes it easier now as you can see here it's not completely 12 inches it's like 11 and 3 quarters or something which annoyed the bejesus out of me so what I decided to do is I had this paper pad next to me this is actually like a, a beach themed one but I found this blue paper with dolphins on the back but that doesn't matter and I decided to give my layout a border I trim off half of an inch is it half of an inch was it I think it was half of an inch and yeah it was half an inch and um, then uh, I trimmed off one inch of that paper which um, oh sorry about the focus there we go and I just adhered it on there that as easy as that so now these papers actually fit on there what I decided to do is make kind of a strip galore kind of design um, I wanted just I just I just go to down I adhere them um, I overlap them quite a bit because I like the look of that and I do um, always make sure that the ripped part is what you can see except for I started off right at the bottom with a straight um, edge I thought about making that smaller but then I was like hey you can overlap it more which I was very proud of myself for thinking about that so this is going to be my last strip and I actually just wanted to do half of the page but I kind of got carried away anyways I ruffled up sorry about the shaking but I have my tripod on my desk as you can see the two black thingies up the top are my tripod feet thingy I'm sorry about the focus it is kind of acting up lately I don't know why I'm really sorry about that so I ruffled up the edges and then I trimmed off the excess and then I was like you can't see the, t the title thingy at all or the cut file because it was super busy and um, first I trimmed off the excess of those hearts and then I'm gonna get a little painty so I then went through my stash of um, that really that gave me a lot of grief that lost heart um, but anyways I went through my mists I'm gonna get them out in a second and I'm gonna do also fun fact as you can see I put the photo at every time I checked how this is going to look I put the photo next to the R but it says Bieber right now because some of the letters are um, right there at the top which I'm gonna get them in a second um, but I'm preparing there they are because it's yeah I don't get that until the very end but anyways this is periwinkle blue dilutions shimmer spray and um, the other bowl is a bowl of water and now I'm gonna get some um, this is a what I call a I don't know what I did what a brush pen what did it call I don't even know but yeah I just um, mix up some of 
that Perinka Blue with Water. And the second paint that I used was um, Dilutions Shimmer Spray in the color London Blue, I think it's called. Is it London Blue? Because it's shimmery and I wanted to add some shimmeriness, I guess. I don't know. And I just used my water... Is it water brush pen? I don't know. Um, to... Um, color that in kind of color see again I do it why don't why don't I get that I just did the letters like how anyways anyways getting getting carried away I am backing my photo on that paper that I used on the hearts because it's not really um that much in the in the papers so I decided to mat it so it's you know um I have another point where that is I just cut that down for a um for project life card so I don't have to do it later because once what's done is done right so this is some um, um, white tissue paper with polka dots there are two polka dots it's the po the tissue paper I use all the time it's from Scrap Delight it's just the, the packaging uh, but yeah I also decided to use that blue that I used for the paper strip um, on the right and then again I just why don't I get that I can put the photo there anyways I'm using some fun some bleh, sorry some fun foam on the back of my layer to pop it up and I'm gonna do something that I'm gonna regret I'm gonna do a lot of things that I'm gonna regret from now on first thing I thought ooh, wouldn't it be nice to pop up this cut file um, yeah, instant regret because this took me so long. You have no idea how long this took me. First of all, um, uh, or f at first I could use those bigger ones, you know, like they're not a problem. What's going to be problematic is this tiny one. And I don't think, did I do that all on camera? I honestly don't remember. It looks like I do because this took me so long and the, the peeling off, that took forever like okay it looks like i'm doing this on camera so anyways i'm gonna talk through that um i so that was a moment where i was like instantly regretting that decision to pop it up and now i'm gonna do something else okay i have to do those um loose letters as well i think it's just four of them um but that's you know that was easy easy peasy lemon squeezy there are two more e's to go and done okay and then i was like huh how would that look with the beautiful mint pen outlined yeah instant regret because this is stupid because if you want to do that it looks beautiful don't get me wrong i, I love this pen this is a mint pen i got this at i think the shop is called hema i don't know i got this when i was in vienna um a couple of um weeks ago i love this pen it's beautiful it writes beautifully it's beautiful but um if you want to outline letters here you can see what they look like kind of it didn't focus oh there we go um so i did that off camera if you want to do that do it before you put on the pop dots because guess what you can't really adhere it properly because uh outline it properly because it's just not a solid area because you have pop dots in some places and some you don't um off, I did that off camera, the, the outlining part. And I also peeled off the backings off camera. I spared you pulling that off. And that was the moment when I put it on. I actually realized, wait a minute. I can't put um, my my photo there. So I realized that now. Um, I really didn't like the seam of that. So I decided I got this. Um, yesterday I think was when I or like the day before I filmed this I filmed it yesterday and the day before I got this beautiful glitter tape it's perfect it's like a white you can still see through it which I kind of like um, so I put that on there and this is a puffy sticker sheet from main squeeze I really like those um, smiley face heart thingies I just scattered them all around the layout which i think looks really really cute also put one on the photo um right there next to the cake couldn't decide but i put it there on the floor um i used my tiny attacher to of course my staples were empty and now the package is empty 
so I have to get some more. I use my tiny chitter a lot. Um, so I, I teared that sticky thingy because it like the washi tape thingy because it kept popping up because the, there were so many papers. It was so chunky that it didn't quite um, um, stay there. My niece's favorite color is I think blue. That's why I did um, a lot of blue on the layout. But she also really loves black. Like she wears a lot of black. So I decided to put some black um, enamel dots uh, or sorry, um, what are they called? Tiny word stickers on there. Just three scattered around the page. So I have kind of a visual triangle. Then I had three um, black enamel dots left, which I just used up here. And then I added some different shades of blue ones as well and that layout took me quite a while like really this took me a long time but um done now and I do love how it looks here you can see how chunky it is there's quite a few pictures coming up now and I have to say I love it it's really special especially the title and the kind of story I was telling there anyways um i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye